Uh, heist. This is not. This is not a steam locomotive. I'm. Uh, it's not. Uh, it is the but, gods. But it has a push bar to drive the wheels. It is God's strongest. Back again. Racing Cannon yeah, Heist. Very this, good. Is, this is like a hybrid. This is my record. Of, the the new the earliest generation of diesel where they were still pushing the wheels with a single bar but yet it's run by a, an electric diesel engine right it's a diesel mechanical so it's not even electric there's not like it is literally mechanically coupled to one of the wheels oh, oh the, it's like a big diesel truck it's like a big diesel truck yeah that's, and then they have awesome. a, then they have connecting rods all the way down to the wheels you can actually that's see great. where the uh, where the, the gear train comes in, it's behind the wheels. It almost looks like it's supposed to be like an 080 or something. Uh, right. But and, then there's no wheel today back we're going to pull the heaviest load known to mankind, 14 iron cars to the steel. 1,204 tons, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, That's it's what he's referring to, that big linkage. Game. But it's a lot. That's a That's lot. That's where this the mechanics drive no it. Dude, this thing pulls the world. I actually don't know if this is tonnage for it or not, um, but it is just, like, too strong. This, this choo-choo is too powerful. All right, so just like before, we're going to race. Um, this engine apparently has shifter gears. Heist has given me a diagram of the shifting. There's Instead of a diagram, I'm using right this here, and skin. Depending on the position, I'm assuming engineer. one is low and eight is high. So like, as I go faster, I need to shift. Correct. And it yeah, gives me this shifting clutch. Clutch. No clutch. It's just got a fluid coupling. And uh, in order to be fair to Khan, uh, I don't know the shifting pattern off the top of my head, and I'm not going to look at it uh, to okay, try I'm gonna to make keep it up. Um, so, so... Go to the starting the, location. Like, I, dri I drive standard vehicles, it, and I can shift from first to third. This is not the you know, real job, I, it's just a dummy. Can that here? Apparently you can do that. You can skip a gear or two, depending on the load. Uh, but you'll stall out the engine if you go too hard, is, is what'll happen. Yeah, and then you blow up the transmission. Uh, ask oh, and then you I blow know. up the transmission. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, you, you can literally crater the transmission and it shatters everything. Oh, like good. That, I'm uh, really excited. I can't yeah. wait to have a new <laughs> engine that I can blow up. Yep. Uh, been there, done that. Got the t-shirt, so. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yep. We're going we're gonna to do this? Yes. Racing time. Everybody sync up your videos. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Look. He actually got killed down this time. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's not pretty good. I'm gonna. I, I, I don't, uh, I remember I'm gonna something. try sync uh, I gotta turn on like everything. Yar, we need to release the handbrake. Uh, to okay, try I'm gonna to make keep mine up. Um, so, so, what's the like? I drive. I drive standard vehicles, and, and I can shift from first to third. You know, can I? Can oh. I do that here? Apparently, you can do that. You can skip a gear or two depending on the load. Um, but you'll stall out the engine if you go too hard. Is, is what'll happen. Yeah, and then you blow up the transmission. Uh, ask oh, me then how you I blow know. up the transmission. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, you, you can literally crater the transmission and it shatters everything. Oh, like good. That, I'm really uh, excited. I can't yeah. wait to have a new <laughs> engine that I can blow up. Yep. Uh, been there, done that. Got the T-shirt. So. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yep. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Yes. Racing time, everybody sync up your videos. Here we go. Three, okay, two, I'm syncing oh. up. Hey, you actually, give me a countdown this time. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, so it come. Much of a countdown, though. Uh, right. Should be sync up. Um, I, I, I remember I'm something. Screw because around a bit because. Turn on, like, everything. Yar, we need to release the handbrake. Okay, for some reason it locks me. Like that. That. Let's uh, get uh, some uh, lights uh, in here. Uh, I would like lights. And that's in the, the uh, release the handbrake part. Uh, Skin has it. already moving backwards, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm getting oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just grinding right through the handbrake. Oh my god, the handbrake, I see why you said Yar, it's a pirate. It feels like it, doesn't it? Okay. God, this, this thing is so cool. And it's also pushing, so jank. Why am I, why do I, it's handbrake all the way down, isn't it? All the way down, that's enough. Yeah, oh, my handbrake is already off. Mine was two. That's good, go! I dunked really hard. That's fun. There we go. Handbrake off. Alright, All right. with this kind of coupler, I've always wondered, you know you have a coupler on both for both So, all the handbrakes are on top of it. Yeah. Brake cars. Very, so like, standard so for, like, one. Screaming you know, through it. Like, like, Hence the screaming brake on the car. So you have a car one for both. Alright, let's go to second. On the brakes are all. I'm going to leave that to my commentaries. Uh, who experience these to inform us of the comments because I don't honestly know. 
I have no clue. Yeah, I imagine it's it's some sort of standard uh, up, down. But, uh, I'm not familiar with it. Also, I, I definitely, engine, by the way. I installed mine right. too. <laughs> trying to yeah, start. Yeah, I pushed it in the car and installed it. Okay, we're probably going to get up the full other way now. The hill. I'm, I'm on the way now to my, my train brake is not. I don't have enough brake if I can. Yeah, yeah I, I did wait for that and it pulled through it because it is yeah. God's strongest train. Yeah, <laughs> I think that was slightly early, but there's a little bit there. of a hill uh, getting out of the iron ore mine. It's not much. But it's right in the Dude, bridge. this thing sounds ridiculous. Dude, it it's is. It's like I'm taking off in a freaking plane. Dude, it's ridiculous. I love this thing. All right, so I'm in full throttle. Now I need a shift. Oh, I almost went from first to like seven. Oh, the oil temp is very hot. We're going to get that, uh... Dude, it's so cool! It's literally a stick shift locomotive, and it's got... Okay, we should down to first. Right, I'll pull it. I'm actually pulling everything out. It is the strongest train, okay? Like, far done. Uh, DMP is so cool. I'm in fourth gear, man. I'm in fourth. Uh, I don't know down which gear I'm in. Down second. Uh, I'm just trying to remember. I think this might take me too long. Back. I love that you can throttle it down and then shift up, you know? Right. It's, it's like truly a mechanical. Hey, yeah, we're shifting it's first. It's just a, a giant version of a semi-truck. Oh my god, I love this. I, I love, I'm in the third person. Probably gonna yeah, have to. The, uh, the, that back link, it's like that back yellow mechanical transmission part that just spins there. That's hilarious. Right. <laughs> like. Who thought this up and was like, you know, this is going to be oh, a bit more sand, please. Like this, connected with the transmission. We'll have these two weird shifter things. It'll be perfect. Right. I am losing speed up this hill. I have too. I'm trying not to stall. I don't know what RPM it wants to stall. Oh, Jesus. That's up. probably a bit hot. Sand, please. I just downshifted to the first. Yeah, it's not that hot. Yeah, I'm in we'll first try. now, too. I'm in second now. Come on! Well, maybe this looks in a second. But yeah, you gotta have, uh, you're gonna need to run sand. In the yeah. I think it's stable. Okay, I'm sort of Stably maintaining overheating. like five kilometers an hour. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing five right now. Literally. And full throttle in first gear. It's just. Let's take a strong fist to you. Okay, that's good. Oh, my oil pressure's going. Like, my oil pressure's going up. Mine's, uh, mine's rated right 100 right now. So maybe it's one of five. Mine's uh, slightly above that. Right on the edge I'm of the red zone. If I, yeah, if I break the throttle up okay. one notch, then I'm okay. Yeah, don't run it from full. It go. seems to be maintaining okay. temp. You run it just I got a red less. plastic light above my oil, but I think I'm okay. Yeah, it doesn't blow up to the gauge gets all the way over. That's how it works, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the red line is just a, it's just a suggestion. It's not a, it's not yeah. a hard one. Uh, I think the red line is actually where it starts incurring fees uh, because you damage the locomotive. But yeah, that's going to be a problem. Yeah. Uh, this yeah, train's going to make like 44 grand. Fine. Yeah. I, I think it's, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Let's go to four. Yeah, this is the first, first gear is race of the time. And now we're going to go it's like, straight like to it. doesn't care. It's actually the biggest so, train I've up. ever run in Eno Valley. I've never run up something. Oh, you've never run 14 cars? No, I've never run 14 cars in 1,200 pounds. Or 1,200 pounds. We need to teach you how to precision schedule the railroad. Run a couple of miles. Okay. Straight to My end. only concern, honestly, is slowing down. Just push this one That's going to be interesting. We have an engine brake, and you can go into the right gear and use the engine brake. Kind of as a dynamic brake, like a Jake brake. Um, wait, you can just like bring your throttle down. Yeah, and then and then you can start to down the engine. Okay, let's go to it's nine. Really a lever labor engine. Uh, so, nine is quite uh, high. <laughs> you know, uh, but the I think you need to grab the shit out of A to get to nine. Unless this is wrong, which is quite possible. Yeah, I shift from second to fourth. I've been skipping gears. Uh, someone's told me before that, like, so we need to be in the low 70s. 
I'm left, sorry, I'm left. You go to application, it constantly reduces the brake height at a certain rate, and then a reduction of the brake height is what causes the train to brake, so then you have to lap it to get that reduction. Right. And for context, uh, I say that there yeah, are some lots of speed on our yeah. railroad. Running it 
fast is uh, terrifying. Yeah. Awesome. Did you derail? No. Okay. Yeah. Let's just get up to speed down this hill. All the glass exploded. Oh, it blew up the transmission! And now I can Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering if that happened uh, either of us. Yeah, I blew up, I blew up the transmission, I guess. Uh, uh, But look, I didn't, uh, look how fast that thing is. Yeah, that would have been a bummer. Yeah, because I have a sand, so I had to make it more. Right, you would have had to like try and unvalue yourself like a roller coaster. Yeah, the biggest issue is honestly just wait for the, the brake pipe. Yep. It takes a long time. You have a charge. I mean, 14 cars. 14 cars will still take in real time. So probably we're just going to have to ride up that hill fast. Depending on what time. I thought you behind me. But uh, sometimes it would be, you know, okay, get air on it. Saving temperature for the hill. More modern and safety compliant, whatever valves would require at least 10 minutes to charge before they'll actually work. So, 10 minutes, float the back of the tray, uh, make sure you get out. It's 10 minutes, you can probably be able to air test it.
Okay, so I'm actually slowing down. There's no hill here. So I might have to go down to eight. On the flat. Not only for like. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm doing 60 through a 40. Ah, yeah, you're fine. That's what the brakes for. Just dump it. Right I just all the way over. Dump it. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, and the only reason I, I look, I, I love it. It's them. not, not nice. just for like you know the scheduling trains and having to watch each other on different tracks and stuff like all the track at a time like all the good scheduling. Um, I need to go left. This cab. Um, but it would also be to, like double head stuff, or, like you know front back stuff. Like like double heading. Obviously, you can do the multi unit hook up and then you can control the both like both diesels simultaneously but you can't double head steam that way right heading steam would be really cool because you so have S282 to like, manage is, your yeah. own locomotive right you could pull and then, and just then about the anything with double that. heading you know whatever that's called the yeah ending pushing on the rear yeah for a shover yeah or if you're oh if you're over in england it's called banking Banking? Yeah, banking. That's uh, that's their term. Oh, it's the banking helper. And sometimes they didn't even couple in. They just literally just shovel on, just shove, shove on the back. <laughs> but yeah, that would be like those would be the kind of things that would be cool, especially with steam. Like the you know trying to manage super heavy train. Okay, so coming up to the hill, we are in the lead. You can quite a bit. We're going to. I did. Uh, I did uh, uh, chat it. What's the word for it? They watched my video about my last year old Valley video and I was kind of like, I don't know why it doesn't the automatic brake because it doesn't sit in the dome. Why it's brakes back when we had a air brakes. So it's on the list. So we're going to correct an issue with the automatic brakes. I've got to concentrate on this hill, but not over here. Like, so, good, I might need to switch down to yeah, eight. Here. Like, how do I, do I slow down my train? I could assume so. Um, I definitely had it over that. It didn't blow up somehow. Um, it probably just made it lose mad. So I guess I'm going to go over some. Like, I'm doing, I'm doing 70 and every time I turn the train speed. So, uh, the way to take It is slow in the flood. I just need to get this train going fast now. Right, it's just the end. All that way. Direct connection. I don't even know if I'm going to need to shift out of nine to get up this hill. I've got to go. Just the weight. It's the seal mill. I'm just going to leave it in nine. It feels like it's almost three eye for me. Yeah, that's all right. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> I was going so fast, dude. There's no way. Like, it's like a fucking FPS trying to switch switches. Got a quick time event. Fuck. Press the button. Maybe even to seven. Dude, if I had that derail thing, I can't believe it. I downed it to six. I pulled the fast and furious, but you know, I, I, I couldn't find my extra fifth. You tried. You tried to clutch kick the. Uh, yeah, I tried to clutch okay. kick. Okay, straight here. It was a violent explosion. The whole engine smoke, the glass all broke on all the windows. And then I. Did that. I definitely just shifted down from the six and uh, almost blew up. It's way too much. Yeah, that's what I did. Eight to six is just so natural. Eight to seven is kind of weird. Yeah, I don't actually know what the 70 is. <laughs> <laughs> so for all I know, I just want 8 to 5. 6. This is the edge, you know, for too fast, too fierce. It's just the two, the, you know, the close-up shots of the hands on both sides. It's like, shh, 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 dude, exactly. Hey, you know, do the thing. Swear. Doing all the things. Let's it's like, oh, no, we got to pass him in the corner. Like, down to 1, the, the wheels start squealing, you know, they're, like, coming off the track sideways. You know, you know what? This is the Polar Express engine. One on either side, you know, we've got the two, we've got the two reverses going on. Johnson Bar somehow. So we just have to stop this in the yard. Uh, that makes Johnson's sense. Oh, oh. I actually just looked at uh, the best look video in the and uh, there were a couple of locomotives that 
I'm not gonna use for Well, maybe that's why I'm so mad. Uh, I got to the point. I got to the point where he didn't know what a bear Garrett was. I was like, Con, really? Bro, I was like, what is really, this? Con? It took 482 times two. They were just like, yeah, let's just put two of them together. I know we've talked about it at some point. I just, I forgot what it was. They're, uh, they're so good. Super dead, but yeah. Okay. Super they were just like, hey, what if we took like an edge? Slowly put that and, like, on. Flipped it around and put it on the other side. What, what if we put the locomotive boiler uh, on a bridge? Where everything's squealing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and, and then, then just get it to two edges. That makes sense. Yeah, that's the thing. They yeah. actually were apparently very, very good for tight curvature. Hopefully, than a I am. Was articulated a, locomotive. articulating point. In, in the yard? I am not. I'm going to have to go forward. Fuck So this. they're really good, and, and people, how the people that like Garrett's are staunch defenders of them. Um, I always toss shade because, you know, funny and European slash Australian slash African. Uh, <laughs> but super unique and cool machines. But uh, those scrap, like... I've played enough scrap mechanic now to know that like making anything is really hard, and so seeing some of that stuff was just like, holy crap! Who, yeah, who, people, who figures people, this out? <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's a thing in scrap I've just got to get it like, far enough forward. Glitch stuff inside of other stuff, and that's like the big exploit where glitch welding. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like where where people oh, we're in, we're in, we're crazy in. detailed uh, things where it just looks unbelievable, cool. and it and, and, and the fact that it works blew my mind. The fact that it's actually like moving the Johnson bar up and down and determines like the, the valve gear movement. Do, 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 just, I'm gonna win! I'm gonna win! Ridiculous. I'm gonna win! Oh, yeah, I didn't get just a next job. Level. Like beep, beep. It's, I build a working valve gear Maybe once. I, I gotta it. get back into it. The dimensions beep, of valve beep, gear beep, are just beep. mechanically like. I win! Dude, they're so. It's so challenging to get correct. um I don't know if oh, you yeah. saw. Oh yeah, and if it's off by a tiny bit, it doesn't work at all. Exactly. It's just I don't know if you saw the animographs Where... video of the big boy that I helped yeah. consult on. That I actually posted my reaction to it today while we're recording. So now you know when we recorded this, haha. Uh, but um, it, it's like he got one of the valve gear components, or maybe two of them, just clocked a little wrong, and one of the rods just slightly not the right length. And as such, it looks almost perfect. It really does, uh, except for the fact that the expansion link moves way too far, uh, and because of that, the uh, the actual lifting shaft that grabs the radius rod to make the forward back so thing looks like it's made of rubber because it had to change length to fit the rest of the animation, and it's like that is so bloody hard to get right. Um, but it was perfect for his video, so you'll have to check Dude, it out in, if you haven't. I'm, but... I'm in eighth, and like. 80, 80, we'll go to where Khan is. RPM. I got $69,000. Bit of a drone fly for Yeah, I'm at full <laughs> throttle. And, uh, like, if I go to 7th, if so I go to 7th, the throttle just goes into the red Coming line. up to this bridge. Oh, yeah, no, he's I'm coming up the hill here. It seems like I accelerated so more drain than this, like, shot of where Khan is. An hour I'm doing. This is where Khan is. Yeah, so. it's, it's not a speedy boy. That's the funny <sighs> thing about you wanting it for too fast, too furious, is that we'd have to speed up all the footage because it's slow. <laughs> It's kind of a cool engine, though. Dude, it's it's super cool. It's one of the coolest it's, engines. It's crazy how I'm gonna go out of my gear. I love the dual gearbox. It's just great. Dude, it literally pulls the universe. It is such a good locomotive. Yeah, I, I'm a huge fan of this. Probably thing. take so that handbrake off the back. How do I uh, make sure all my cars are in the lane? Uh, all right, use your eyeballs. Now <laughs> shift to seventh here. Let's go. So it'll be interesting to see. You obviously had to reload, uh, but we'll we'll see whether or not uh, your time. Beats I think I was a little conservative on the brakes coming down the. Helix. I was only ever doing like 45, 50 because I knew there were 40 sections that came up, but I didn't feel like always, you know. I yeah, yeah, we're yeah. gonna blow the gearbox uh, yeah, coming like down this so. hill. <laughs> Just for fun. I am losing speed. I win though. Although, yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah, dude, that, uh, that last. The, uh, blowing up the. I need two hands. This is the, this is the engine you need to run in VR, so I can have two hands and grab both shifters at the same right. time. Right, and then just do both. And just sit there going, shh, shh, like, honestly, this is the one, the one locomotive where I really feel like having two hands would be great. And it's odd only having the one mouse, isn't it? Yeah, because I you basically like some of these gear transitions like you know six to five and then five to four. Five to four, 
you have to put two, you have to go one up, one down at the same time, right? Like, you need to... Realistically. Alright. E3I. I know this track. This way. And it's gonna be that big empty one. Fast and furious. Plugging along. Alright, I need to go to four. There we go. Alright, let's go to stripe to seven. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Even with the diesel mechanical, um, it's so much less stressful not running steam. Like, yeah, when when it <laughs> when there's no risk right, of it, uh, let's shift it into whatsoever, first. Uh, except but, by your direct control. Yeah, right? that's what happens it's when you shift it into first. Sure. But like, you it just everything shatters the glass, yeah. and it Whereas, makes yeah, the flash. railroad can just change all of a sudden. Yeah, as long as you're looking at like your oil, your oil tap and stuff, you're not running it too far. Anyway, let's just watch the sunset. I am the stack. Makes you makes you realize why uh, we sort of evolved away from steam powered stuff. Well, you know, <laughs> many other reasons, but yes, uh, that's definitely yeah, part I mean, of it. Yeah, I mean, there's also the whole like you know thermodynamics, energy efficiency of fuel versus steam. But the uh, the big thing is just the maintenance. Like that's that's really really what it boils down to. If there's lots of reasons, well, and, and they all contribute. Lugging but... water weight is so much, like, you have to lug so much extra weight compared to lugging fuel weight, you right. know? Absolutely. And then like you have to have less infrastructure fuel goes a lot of... further than a lot of water, right? Like that's exactly. Like... You have to have the infrastructure of water towers, you have to have all that stuff. But, I mean, the big thing for me that most people don't seem to realize is that every 31 service days, you need to, break, like, the steam engine cool down, pull all the plugs, do a boiler wash, put it all back together, which if you're taking care of the engine, you don't hate the engine, it takes a couple of days, uh, and if you are the railroad and you just want it done quick, I mean, it's still going to take you at least probably 12 hours to, to dump all the pressure, do the wash, and then actually refire it up. Uh, and you have to do that every 31 service days. A modern right. diesel has 184 days of service before it sees a shock. Hundred and eighty four, that's half a year. Nine thousand dollars above. So did I. What's your time? What was your time? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Uh, if you go to the first page, you tell the exact time for the second. My validation was twenty nine and twenty four. Oh, mine was thirty point oh nine. <laughs> That means you know that, that was, if you didn't that was have as to, far off as I thought, I was only like it's a shame I can't. Yeah, off. No, if you did the race itself, I, you know, I blew up. That was the problem. Spoil. If you didn't have to restart, it would have been extremely close. It would have um, been thirty seconds. Yeah, maybe thirty seconds. And, and on right. top of that, when I restarted, I had to get back up from zero speed. To exactly. Speed. That, that's the thing. So, that, so that's how much time you. did I waste in that thirty seconds getting back up to full speed? You might have run faster over the rest of it, but uh, at the end of the day, you still blew up the Choo Choo Con. Why? Well, so, I, I, I downshifted to six, and, and then oh, it I, went up. I, it's so easy. Yeah, I did yeah, that well, one. Good, good game. That was a good race. But did I not? Did they not pay me? You gotta take the money and then put it in your wallet. This is your wallet, bro. I didn't take the money, right? Is it gone? And it's not in the machine. Uh, it might be the lost and found. Where's the lost and found? It's the shack Where's my 69 to... grand? It's the shack next to the station. <laughs> All right, where's my 69 grand? I've had Someone just a found bunch of money sitting in my career mode. Put it in the lost and found. A citizen of the steel mill is just. Uh... Yep. Someone put my 69 grand in the lost. And... <laughs> they're 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 good people at the steel mill. Okay. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. All right, well, sick. Let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, you know, what other, what yeah. other, what, what challenge would you like to see next? Because uh, that was fun. Viewer suggestion. It felt like all of my comments said, "Do the DM3," and uh, now Khan's learned to do something new. So that was fun. I should have uh, like gone cool. on the fight with the boys. Cool. It doesn't have the. I mean, maybe it's because we're on on these large trains. Maybe we have to go on smaller trains to really feel it. But it doesn't have the like get out of the hole. I mean, you know, we're pulling 14 cars, I guess. So. Yeah, should have gone and visited right. some it's of these boys. The, the too fast, oh, wow. and furious, you know, always so, shifting to second. It's the it's the meme for that, but I mean, it's a little slow for that. And if I'm being perfectly honest, so yeah. But we got to race those big steam guys too. We at some do point. S282s. I, I haven't raced big steam yet. I also haven't done slug stuff. I haven't done multi-unit stuff. I'm a, I'm, I'm a fresh noob. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Oh, you know, actually, before we go, somebody did give me a great idea for a challenge that we should try at one point. Um, at the bottom right of the map, there is uh, the garage where you unlock the slug. It's up that little squirrely pass to the bottom right of the harbor. Uh, oh, I've already done this And video. that has the steepest grade in the game. I think it's even like up to 5%. And it also has the slowest speed limit in the game that goes down to one. It's literally a 10. Okay. And uh, we spawn some stuff up there and try to bring it down. I think that would be. So anyway, thanks to the description uh, for okay. their videos and the description uh, bye -bye, for this mod. All right, sounds good. Well, let us know what you guys think, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. <laughs> bye. And I'm really enjoying this. So I'm probably going to do another one. They're coming out monthly, I think. But the oh, engine you broke Alright, we are officially getting spicy derail sounds. I'm doing about Put a 70. Of break in. I'm doing 50. But I have a feeling I'm about to do 60. Just so a tiny now bit I gotta of break set. Play with my throttle, essentially. Yeah, I'm leaving it at 8. I think that's the, the secret. Well, I mean, you wouldn't want to, like, your engine it over revs at 1000 RPM. So if you're, you know, if you're in 8 or whatever. God, Be the right way, please. I'm gonna put a bit more brake on. Because of that, it's very spicy. Is it self lapping or non self lapping? Because I, I don't know. I have to hold it forward for it to stay in the full position, and then. Oh, okay, then that's non self lapping. So it's like the steam oh. engine. 